What's going on everyone? Today we are going to be installing Pi Charm on the Raspberry Pi 4. Now you can probably install it on the Pi 3B Plus, but I haven't tried it on any other versions. So keep that in mind when installing it on your Raspberry Pi. It is a little CPU intensive at first, but then it levels out. So with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to jetbrains.com forward slash Pi Charm forward slash download. So for this, we're going to make sure, yes, we are on Linux here. And then we're going to go over to the community on the right and we're going to download the free open source version. We're not going to install the free trial. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to download that. And then it's going to start here. That's going to be 343 megabytes. Perfect. So we'll wait till that downloads. When that's finished downloading, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to open up the folder and we will extract it there. Okay, so it's all finished downloading. I sped it forward so that way you're not waiting around. Uh, my Wi-Fi so seems to be a little slow today. So I'm just going to go to right click on it and extract here. Once again, this process might take a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it to the end of the extraction on this. And then we'll be able to go ahead and get that installed. While we're waiting, what you can do is hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, we're always going to be putting out more videos. Why? Because I enjoy it. So make sure to stay tuned for more videos on the Pi 4 and other random things that I decide to make. So back to the file. All right, so the file is completely extracted now. What we can do is we can hit Control, Alt, and T. This is going to bring up our terminal window. And now the first thing we're going to want to do is go CD downloads. We can see we have PyCharm Community 2019 2.2. You might have a different version there, but it'll work the same. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go sudo mv PyCharm. All I did there was I hit uh, after PY, I hit the tab button on my keyboard and filled in the rest for me. And we're going to move that to opt PyCharm commun oh, communi community dash 20. Wow. 2019.2.2 make sure that's all spelt right looks good to me and then we're gonna go to cd opt hit ls and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go cd pi charm uh, community and then we're gonna go ls and what we want to do now is we want to go cd bin and then if we go here we want to run the pycharm.sh. So to do that, we just do the dot forward slash pycharm.sh and that's going to launch our installer and get everything set up. Warnings are just warnings here, so take it as you will. Now we've got this loading up. So because I've had this installed before and the video didn't work for some reason, I'm going to go ahead and press cancel on my load project. It's going to bring me up this window here. This is what you will see uh, for the first time when you're doing it. And I'm just going to go to configure and create desktop entry and create entry for all users. Click on OK. And I'm just going to enter my password here. And you can check for whatever you want here. Import settings, export, uh, all that kind of fun stuff. Check for updates. Other than that, all you got to do is go to create new project. I already have a test one here, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on that. But you'll click on create new project. And that's going to load up this. After you've installed it, you can go ahead and click on the Raspberry Pi icon, go to programming, find it in your uh, programming folder. I usually add it to my desktop 
and there we go now I'm able to launch it right from my desktop I like to have all my most used apps there when you first uh, install it you might get uh, some options for installing um, and that's when you're going to set those uh, settings up and usually the default and that's what I use the default settings that it suggested I did those and that was it when I installed it the first time and that's what I have right now but you can change that however you like and get that set up for yourself so that part is missing but uh, it's just clicking next so I wouldn't be too worried about it since I already had it previously installed I've this is my second time recording this, like I said. Uh, hopefully the audio works this time. If not, I'm going to be mad. Anyways, uh, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And please leave any comments, questions below. If you have an idea for what you'd like to see installed on the Pi 4 or any other projects, let me know. Thanks for watching, everyone. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Take care, eh?